Wayne, we're at uh, Mac 2018. As this stands, it's always a pleasure to come on your stand. It's a fantastic array of different tooling solutions. But what's Mac 2018 been for you guys? It's been a real positive uh, show for us, Mark. Uh, obviously, from the stand and the global branding, we take the same theme uh, across the world with all the subsidiaries and all the major shows. But Mac has, has ticked every box for us this year for 2018. It's been a real pleasure to exhibit. And we've had lots of customers from different uh, uh, industries, some many we never knew. So lots of new inquiries, lots of new customers. Obviously, with the e-mobility and the new materials in lightweight structures coming, we've had a lot of interest for solutions and technical partners. So for us, yeah, 10 out of 10. So technology transfer, because you've always been very strong in the automotive sector, then aerospace, and you're saying other sectors now. Yeah, we've got a lot of other sectors like wind power, We've got the aerospace, automotive, and even general engineering for MAPAL, the, the, the global strength of the company with more standard products coming in to supplement the specials means we've got more to offer for a wider range of, of, of clients and customers, and the, the solutions they require are very similar. And we see a real uh, synergy between the materials used in all the sectors now, hence the need and, and a wider audience for us. So for us, for new customers, from the show, new inquiries, and we'll have a busy week next week following up for all the introductions we've made this week. Just want to touch on the e-mobility product uh, that, that, you, that you mentioned. Now, um, I've only been standing here just before this interview, and there's three or four people looking at that product quite intensely, but why is that? The, the e-mobility, obviously we know from the, the powertrain and the internal combustion engine changes that are coming, e-mobility is going to be with everybody, mm. either in hybrids or electric vehicles. So already MAPAL is, is heavily in the R&D and developing solutions for the future. Obviously the tool lends itself a little bit back to the adjustable, micron adjustable technology due to the tight tolerances. So hence lightweight tools that we've got here for existing machines we can adapt, retooling we can adapt, but the science is in the tool and the technology is here. So for us we see, uh, going back to our roots where MAPAL began with guide padded technology, that's really the... Uh, core product that we see for e-mobility and we've had lots of interest in from OEMs asking us where we are, what we can do and how far down the road we are with that product and as you can see the products are already here, it's going to come and we'll just be at the forefront as we always are as a company. I've spoken to Dr. Kress in the past yeah, and he's always like the money that you spend on R&D in Germany is phenomenal isn't it? We're very proud of the fact that obviously there's people there that do copy us, we have no problem with that but we have to be at the forefront so the R&D structure that we've got within the company now and the vast uh, uh, advantage that gives us and our customers it is obviously here to see on the stand. And for any engineers that haven't been here what, what's your sales message to them? Please contact us should you need anything but I also say to a lot of the engineers out there revisit Mac, come to Mac because Mac's changing, the industry's changing and to come feel and touch the products of ours and other people's is well worth the, the journey. Well, it's been a pleasure being on your stand again, Wayne. Thanks very much. I'm glad that you've had a good show. See you soon. Thanks, Mark. Pleasure.